Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about critical care certifications and advancing your career in critical care. Before I begin, please consider subscribing down to my YouTube channel. I'll have a new video up every single week. So when I was a nursing student, I definitely didn't think I would be continuing school and doing more courses. But as I became more and more of a competent nurse, um, gaining the foundational nursing skills on a med surge unit, I realized that I wanted to be more and more competent, but I needed more training, I needed more skills. And the best way to do that is to continue my education. So if you truly love something, if you truly love nursing and you truly want to do the most you can for a patient, continuing education is absolutely mandatory. There's so many certification processes that um, make you more competent as a nurse and more skilled. It's almost um, counterproductive for you not to do that if you truly want to be the best nurse you can possibly be. For that reason, I've compiled a list of different certifications you can get as a critical care nurse because that's the specialty that I'm going into and that's the field that I'm most familiar with. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let's get started. So the first certification course I'm gonna talk about is the Certified Nursing Practice courses. So these are not technically courses. These are essentially an exam. This is essentially an exam that you have to write but also it requires you to have certain amount of work hours in that field. So for example, there's a critical care cardiovascular exam that you can be certified in. There's um, pediatric critical care, which you can be certified in that. And then there's emergency critical care, um, which allows you to be certified in that field. Uh, for me, for the sake of this video, I'm going to talk about emergency just because that's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to get into. Essentially, you have to write um, an uh, exam which costs around $600 as well as have either 3,000 hours in that specific field, so 3,000 work hours in the emergency department, or you need to have approximately 5,000 work hours in um, a nursing field. So for example, uh, in acute care, acute medicine, or work in med surge, and then you can do 5,000 hours in that, and then write the exam, and then be certified in that field. And that allows you to not only um, put a cool title by your name, but it also allows you to uh, further your knowledge and build on that confidence that we talked about earlier. Um, just building on your nursing knowledge and being able to do more for the patient. The next certification process I'm going to talk about is the TNCC, which stands for Trauma Nursing Care Courses. By the way, guys, all the information that I'm talking about will be in the description box down below, so you can always click on that and see where I got this information from and look more into it. So the TNCC is basically a um, a certification process which makes you more educated on providing care for patients who've gone through trauma. So that means like stabs, so that means like they've been in a car accident, they've had a gunshot wound, and it builds on your nursing care and skills for providing uh, care for patients who've been in trauma. So I highly recommend you go check out their website. There's different um, skills that they teach you, but essentially it's um, evidence-based and it's internationally recognized and it just allows you to once again build on the confidence you have for um, providing care for trauma uh, patient. So obviously, working in the emergency department, I want to be able to provide the best care I can. And if I don't have this trauma certification course, it really makes me feel like I don't know what I'm doing for a patient who suffered from a trauma of some sort, whether that's a gunshot wound, whether it's a stab, whether it's, it's a car accident. And 
this provides, doing this course will provide me with that confidence I talked about earlier. So the next certification course I'm gonna talk about is PALS and ACLS. PALS is Pediatric Advanced Life Support and um, ACLS is Acute, or sorry, Advanced Cardiovascular Life Support. So both these courses are obviously very important working in the emergency department because if a patient uh, tanks, you're able to provide a lot of care for that for that person and you know, furthering your education in these two fields and gaining that certification will not, will not only make you more confident, but it will allow you to provide the best care you can for a patient that's suffering through a very acute illness or that's really doing poorly. And in that situation, um, time is of the essence. So being able to be confident in your care is very important so you know exactly okay if the patient codes why did the patient code and what are the interventions that you need to provide immediately and that could be life-saving guys because essentially when you work in the hospital as a nurse you're the person that's going to save that that patient's life you're the one that needs to identify certain interventions very quickly and if you provide fast efficient and um, effective care you can effectively you can basically save that person's life so the next certification that i'm going to talk about is iv therapy and central venous catheters so this is not necessarily a certification although you can be certified in um, iv therapy and um, central venous catheters uh, depending on where which hospital you work at where you work at and, and so forth I know that in my hospital, um, putting in IVs requires a special certification and dealing with central venous catheters requires you to do extra education, which they provide in-house. Um, and the reason why I think this is so important is because everybody that comes into the emergency department has to have a, pretty much an IV. So knowing how to uh, put in an IV and knowing more about IV therapy in general will definitely enhance your care for the patient. And for central lines, it's that's even more important. So if a patient comes into the ER with a central line, identifying what central line it is, identifying the policies and procedures that need to be followed for that central line is very crucial in providing time efficient and effective care. And it just provides you with more confidence when you're providing care for that patient. Knowing all the different types of central lines, knowing how to flush and all these sorts of things uh, makes you more confident in providing care for that patient. So the next certification um, that I'm gonna talk about is wound care. Um, specifically the nurses specializing in wound care, ostomy, continence in Canada, because I live in Canada. Uh, that There's a special course you can take that provides you with the education and the uh, certification to be competent in providing care for patients that have wounds. Now this is crucial because a lot of patients come in with very poor, very poorly managed wounds and knowing how to provide care and wound care specifically, identifying what products to put on that wound so that it heals is uh, definitely crucial and can be life-changing. Patients, a lot of patients actually, uh, unfortunately pass away because they are, they're having, they're having, they have really bad wounds and they require uh, immediate attention. And because a lot of nurses uh, are not specialized in this, they don't really know what the best care is for that patient and that wound. And ultimately the patient suffers. So knowing and being specialized in wound care and ostomy and continence provides you with that extra set of skills and knowledge to provide care, which could ultimately be life-saving. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe down below. I'll be uploading a video every single week. And let me know in the comments below what are some other certifications that I have may ha that I may have missed. Um, other than that, I hope you have a nice day. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.